Hello guys, welcome back. Ready for another square? I'm ready. Next one is complementary. Complementary colors we talked about before, the colors that are straight across from each other on the color wheel. And we're gonna, you can use whichever set of complementary colors that you want. Let me grab a color wheel. I'm gonna do blue and orange because I've used blue here and I've used blue here. So I'm gonna use blue here too. And you don't have to do that, but just pick two colors that are straight across from each other on the color wheel. You'll just use those two colors and you'll use blue as a pure color. You'll use orange as a pure color, but this is really important. You're gonna make a brownish color for the middle like we did on our intensity worksheet where we made the blue turn into brown. You're gonna use some brownish colors, but you're also gonna use some semi-neutral blues, and you're also gonna make some semi-neutral oranges, and I'll show those to you as I do this worksheet. But we're gonna use blue and orange, and semi-neutrals of blue and orange. So here we go, we'll start with blue. I bet you know where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Nice, intense mixture of blue right in the middle. Stay inside the lines, paint it evenly. Don't get too much water on your brush or you'll end up with a big puddle on your paper. I'm gonna go ahead and get some blue out here in my mixing tray. So I'm rolling my brush on the side, not straight down, but on the side, and I'm gonna get some paint out here. And I'm gonna roll it some more and I'm gonna get some more paint. And you guys are gonna have enough paint to do this unless you are washing your paints under the water a whole bunch. You don't wanna do that. But if you clean your paints out, this this set was halfway empty when I started on it and we're gonna do everything with this set of paints probably. So I have blue. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush out and I'm gonna get a nice intense mixture of orange. I better get some more orange out there. Wow, that there was blue on my brush still, so that's not a nice intense orange. That's a semi-neutral orange that has blue in it. So I'm using my brush and I'm getting all of that out that I can. And now I'm gonna teach you a little a little trick. We're gonna put some water in there. I'm gonna take my paper towel. I'm gonna soak that out of there. And I have my nice orange in there. And this time I'm gonna clean out my brush really good. And I'm gonna dry my brush out really good. And then I'm gonna get some clean water and I should be able to get a clean orange out of there. That looks much better, much better, much better. So I'm gonna get some orange and I'm gonna put it in this mixing tray here. And I may have to clean these mixing trays out once during this process, but I'm gonna paint some orange right around the blue. When you put two complementary colors next to each other, they make each other look brighter, more pure, more intense. So lay your arm down, make sure your arm's down, make sure your hand's down, push your brush down, drag it along the edges. We learned this in class. You've seen this at story time. So you've seen me do this before. Just I'm just reminding you of that technique that helps you to be able to paint right up to those edges. So, so arm down, hand down, your pinky out there on the table. My pinky has to be laying against the table for me to have a good steady hand on this. So now you can do tints of blue and orange. So I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna do a couple tints of orange. I'm gonna add some more water and do an even lighter tint of orange. Well, that's a little bit lighter. It's pretty close to the same. And I'm going to rinse my brush out really good. I'm going to dry my brush out. I'm going to get some more water. And I'm going to do a tint of blue. So it's just blue and water. I'll paint that here. But there's so many cool colors that you can get with this that I don't want to just do tints of blue and orange. I want to start to make some of those semi-neutrals. So we're going to go to this mud color that I got because I had blue paint in my paintbrush and I didn't get it all out before I put it in the orange. And that's a semi-neutral orange. 
an orange with a little bit of blue in it. It's a little bit different than my pure orange, but not a lot different. I'm gonna take the orange that's in my brush and I'm gonna mix it in with this blue. And this is gonna be a bluish color. And it's called a semi-neutral as well, but it's a semi-neutral blue, which means it's blue with a little bit of orange in it. And I like that color, that color looks nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a tint of that color. And maybe I'll just do another layer on here and make this one darker first. Get it. Be careful about doing two layers unless you let it dry. Sometimes you can soak across the edges if you have too much paint on there. I'm gonna add some more water to that color because it's such a pretty color. I'm gonna paint it over here. Make sure you get some water out of your brush. I just got water out of my brush like that. That's so that I don't end up with big puddles on this paper. So I like that color a lot. So one more time, I'm gonna add water. Where can I get, there's a spot. And I'm gonna paint it one more time right here. And it's almost white. That's okay if it's almost white. It's not white. I don't want you to leave any of it white. I want it all to be painted. So I'm gonna get some more blue out of here. I'm gonna add blue to that color that I had there. So it still has some orange in it, but it's got some blue. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of water to it, get it really light, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint my background now. So I'm, it almost looks like the blue that we painted right here, but you'll see a slight difference because it has a little bit of orange in it. So it's a semi-neutral blue. It's not a pure blue, it has a little bit of orange in it. And most skies that you see on famous artist paintings, you won't see very many pure blue or even tints of blue skies. Most of them will be a semi-neutral blue that has a little bit of orange mixed in with it. And sometimes you'll see them that have a lot of orange mixed in with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these together and we're gonna get some brown. Let's make some brown now. Let's see if we can get some brown out of this. Ooh, there's a gray. That's a kind of an orange gray. Still a semi-neutral, but you could probably call this one a neutral because it's pretty close to pretty close to brown. So you could probably that doesn't look orange and it doesn't look blue, so that would be neutral. Uh, let's paint it in a couple more spots since we got a good neutral there. It's made out of these two colors. And when I look at this whole thing, I'm not seeing a lot of blue in there. So I think we need to go back into the blue and do another semi-neutral that has a little bit more blue in it. So we'll try that for here. That's really close to this color right here. So I'm going to add even more blue to it. So it's a blue with just... Now it's looking a lot like my background, so I have to be careful. Let me try it over here, semi-neutral blue. And maybe in the middle of these triangles here, and then I'm gonna do some semi-neutral oranges around that. So let's go get some of this blue and add it to that orange over there. And that looks like a color I don't have on there yet. So let's try these three spots. I'm gonna change it a little bit more. Maybe all three of them will be just a little bit different from each other. And now I want a little bit orangerish one maybe. Orangerish? Is orangerish a, a name, word? Is that a word, Mrs. Hunt? I don't think so. Orangerish. Orangerish. Mr. Hunt's new word. Orangerish. Orangerish. Okay. This is an orangerish color right here. A semi-neutral orange. Or brown. That looks pretty neutral. That could be a neutral brown. And I'm just going to throw it right here. And see this white one right there? That's not white. That's gray. Kind of put it over here so you can see the white. And then move it over. There you go. So that's your lesson for today. Have fun with this one. This one's my favorite one. Okay. See you next time.